okay, in this movie, I'm gonna show you how to set up a pick mini or multiple select quiz using a chat cloud or grouping type design. So essentially we have nine choices here on the slide, right? Nine circles, nine choices, but we wanna set it up in a visual way that groups each, uh, every three choices. So only these three choices are part of this group, these three choices are part of the group, and then for the third group. Now I added a number to each of the uh, groups just so we can know uh, which one we want to, to be the correct choice. So I just did that as a visual indication. I could have added numbers to the others as well, but it just makes it a little bit easier for us to track which one we wanna uh, show is correct. So a couple things here. If I look at my, my timeline, these are just basic shapes that I've created in Storyline. And then down here on the bottom, I have just some chat gra uh, cloud graphics that I wanna use uh, to kind of visually group these items. But essentially, this is really just a nine choice question where three choices are correct. So the first thing I wanna do is come in here and convert it to a free form. I wanna make this a, a, an interaction. So up here in the insert tab, I wanna choose convert to free form. And we have our options right here. In this case, it's not a pick one because I don't want just, only, I, don't, I don't want only one option to be correct. I actually want many to be correct, three of them exactly. So once I have selected that, I'm over here in the choices window, and I'm just going to select first, just to make this easy for me to uh, kind of visually sort, I'm gonna choose the correct uh, choices. And so you can see as I move down this list, the red highlight uh, indicates which object I'm on, but because I used a naming convention for each of these groups, it's easy for me to sort uh, by looking at. So I'm gonna choose the first one, the second one, and the third one. So these three are the three that I want to be correct. Now I'm just gonna go through the list and add the additional choices that will just be really our distractors. So I'm just gonna come down here to each of these and a couple more. There's my last one. All right, so now if I jump back over here to slide view, visually nothing's changed. But at this point, if I select one of my graphics, I can see that under the states, I now have this selected uh, approach. And I can override this. Um, Storyline by default is going to put in a, uh, a glow to the feature. If I want to remove that, I can double click to edit it. And maybe I just turn off my glow effect because I already have that color in there, done states. And I do want to just grab that format painter and then update the other ones uh, just so they don't have that same glow. All right, so if I look at this real quick and I preview, couple things are gonna happen. Because I have a selected state for all the choices, I'm gonna actually see that they all can be selected, right? But what I wanna have happen is that only one, one choice can be selected within each group. And we can do that with Storyline's button sets. So I'm gonna select these, this first three, right click anywhere on the outside of the, uh, the selection box, choose button set and button set one. Now what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna group the three of these to actually work like a radio button where only one can be selected at one time. I'm gonna do the same thing here. However, I'm gonna to have to create a new button set because I don't wanna add them to the current set because that would make all six of these buttons in one. So instead, button set, new set, and we'll call this one button set two so that those work independently and then I will uh, just finally make this one a button set as well. So there's the second set we just created, and we'll make one more called button set three. Okay, again, it's really one quiz, and the choices are just visually uh, grouped or chunked based on the, the background graphic, but essentially we're just selecting three out of nine choices, and those are the three that we want correct. So now if I preview it, I should only be able to select one choice from each group, right? And remember the numbers are the correct ones. The ones with the numbers are the correct choices. If I select this, it'll be incorrect, or it should be, yep, incorrect. And if I replay it, I'll select all of them and submit, and there's correct. And there's some other ways we can visually modify this, but essentially that's all this is. It's just nine objects on the slide, and we've made three of those nine 
the correct choice using storylines, convert to freeform, pick mini.